Article 703. Does this mean that we should plan on installing generator tap boxes for those applications that require this level of redundancy? Well, I don't think generator tap boxes are the intent of uh, this addition to the code. Um, really what we're looking for is, uh, is what was shown in uh, the figure that associates the code article, which is um, some interlocked switches that allow uh, you know, a, 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 trans a manual transfer between the permanent source and the, uh, the temporary alternate source. Uh, if you put a generator tap box in, that implies to me anyway that you're just trying to interconnect the generator with the, uh, the uh, temporary generator and, and without that switching means there's no uh, way to guarantee that the temporary generator wouldn't come on and backfeed the mm -hmm. very generator you're trying to maintain. So we could put in two breakers potentially and have a Kirk key system yeah. that yes. right. construction that's, that's, and that's, put that's, a tap box that's the out intent. and kind of a yeah. solution. That's right, that's right. And, and the tap box uh, configuration can be extended so that you have uh, a load bank connection and a temporary generator connection outside as well. So, so I, I guess the, the intent here, uh, um, Wendell, is that this temporary emergency generator serve the emergency ATS or transfer switch, that it's available to provide emergency power if called on under any normal circumstance, mm -hmm. just like the emergency generator. So if you've got that interlocking in place, um, then you've meet, met the intent there. Yeah, then the temporary is doing the same function as the emergency.